Okay, uh, welcome back. So this is the second video in the bank project and let me just open NetBeans instead of this because we dealt with this in the last one and well sum up that we agreed to start by creating the bank class in the new one because the first class created contains a main or the, the main a main I think it's just a D main but I think there can only be one main uh, never mind so um let me and I have the uh, the output edits out here and yeah but we can always reorganize the windows um so and remember the um this one for the for the new project and uh so press it and the first one just next java java application fine here uh, let me zoom in a bit so we have the project name which is uh there and i add a little like this okay so um this is a project name now usually if we call the name here that create a main class it's called the same thing what we can do is first type uh like first type the name here uh whoops and then it will it will suggest the same being written here but we can just delete that part like delete it and uh type in our own uh, uh bank class would be uh, <laughs> um let's try that so now it's very small letters i know um so the project name we call it bank project whatever and let me show you what happened so yeah so now it has name bank project but and the create main class is also i think with the big letters here or was it bank project dot i don't know i don't know what i why it says that but um this will be the name that it just gets by per default so but we can change that and let's just name it uh bank with a big b um like this so bank project and main class just called bank uh yeah we call bank class or bank let's just call it bank um like this so now we are making sure that the main is in the first um, Java class document created. And let's uh, double click to, uh, it should open about dub, double clicking, just press enter. Um, ah, this is interesting. Okay, if this happens, yeah, um, if we split the screen, then I can show you uh, sometimes and it just puts it out. So I was a bit slow. <laughs> actually uh for um i didn't realize it that i just put it here uh, i wanted it to be put here but i have no open something for it to be put there so if this happens and we want the output there we just drag it and just place it up here and it should do like this this is what we want um output to the right and then just the bank here and if we create uh, we are going to create two classes in this case uh, in this project so we can just split the screen in to two. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's always get started by deleting the annoying text that it does by per default. And I still haven't figured out how to change that default setting. Um, uh. So now we have the main here and I just summarize again, um, repeat that. So it starts from here and then here this is the order that the computer will do the code start to do an error and then well, there should be a down error uh, ah no mind but just an error down until this one and from here so yeah that should be clear and um so the next step would be to create what did it say should we go back i already forgot uh where is it this one the notepad um bank class let's go up that's what we've created and the other one says here account class so let's create an account um so you can repeat it again so i'll zoom in here okay uh so we end we have to be in the same package we just whoops there 
and you can see that the bank is created here. So by uh, right clicking on this uh, default package, we can choose, I right click now, uh, new Java class. Whoops. And what should we call it? Class name, new class? Sure. So here we just type a name um, and it should be called account. Account. And uh, should I mention this now? Yeah, I should. Um, the naming convention is that uh, classes are with capitalized. So whenever we create a class, it should be capitalized. So this is capital A here for the class. And I think this is standard Java naming convention. And there are naming conventions that some are pretty standard and some might change from company to company or maybe even country to country. I'm not sure. But um, I think we're good under the class name, always with big capitalized letter as per default uh, it should be. Um, at least that's what I was taught in school. So <laughs> I hope they, they are right. They were right. Um, again, you can delete horrible text and um, yeah so and now I forgot completely what the assignment says so let's go back again uh, an account class we've done that with the following private string name private double balance and let's see if we can just maybe you get an assignment it's in PDF but maybe you can figure out to copy paste I'll just try if it works because I'm lazy today uh, private string and the first error. Do you remember? Maybe you remember that string should be with capitalized. Uh, maybe you don't. So it's actually uh, my bad for writing not writing capitalized in the text. But um, so this is it. And um, yeah, I can tell you now because we're working with. Uh, so this might be a bit long project, even though it's uh, pretty straightforward. Because I'll tell you some cool stuff about NetBeans while we go along. I think you have the right to know some cool stuff. So uh, in NetBeans there is an auto because you see like if we have if we do it like this then there's like space here it looks strange, looks bad so we can of course do this manually ourselves or we could just tell NetBeans to do it and if I remember now I'm right clinging if I remember uh, usually I use the shortcut to do it but um, Maybe I can't even find it because I always use your shortcut. So maybe I should just tell you that. There is the, uh, what's called, formatting somewhere. Uh, I can't find it. What I do, I just press L, uh, Alt, Shift, F, and they're out of formatting. So um, I didn't, I just, I can screen type it. Uh, auto, auto. Formatting um, equals Alt plus Shift plus F. And this is the NetBeans um, shortcut. There are many uh, shortcuts that I probably don't know yet. Uh, but as we go along, I'll teach you the one side, the few ones that I actually know and use. So this is one of them that I use. Um, yeah. So that was, uh, what do you call it, side thing. Um, not that important maybe um, but it looks nice this way okay so let's move on with the um, the text what it say so this we've done and um, yeah private uh, I don't think I've talked much about private and public but I'll, I'll wait with that because uh, it's a bit I'm not entirely sure myself exactly I know kind of how it works but um but we can create projects and not worrying too much about it uh, but usually we make private for uh, for the variables in a class we always make them private and for I'll show you for the methods we usually always make them public so um, this is for the up here for the variables private to private variables and here um, if you can see there, just make an error. Um, for the methods, usually public, and this is has something to do with uh, they, that they can be uh, used in another class. Um, but that's we don't have to think so much about it if we just follow along the, um, what it says here, uh, because 
Yep, yeah, if we do that, then we should be fine. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> um, so let's just go on. So, I think we're on 10 minutes now in this video. So, so now we have two private variables. And uh, in the next video, then, we'll work with the methods, create the methods for... Um, for the uh, for the class. So uh, okay. So see you in the next video.